Hey guys, this is Chase from the K20 Center and I wanted to show you a free resource to create a website that you can use uh, for your classroom or your business or whatever you'd like. It's found on Weebly.com. You can see the address right up here. And uh, most of all, it's free, but it's also simple to create a website. So the only thing you're going to need is a username and a password and once you get signed up, it's going to take you to a screen that looks somewhat like this. Now I've created a website that we're going to edit and I can show you all the tools but if you want to create your own website it's really easy all you do is just pre press add site and give it a title and you're ready to go. So this is the practice website that I have set up if I want to edit the site all I have to do is of course just press edit and it'll open it up. Okay now when I create a website um, you can see that my title's up here at the top, um, and it'll have some sort of header right here. If you look, and if as we scroll down, you can see that we don't have any text or pictures or anything. Pretty boring. Let's add some text. So all I have to do to add text is to come up to uh, what they call uh, these elements right here, and click on it and drag it straight down and set it where I want it to go. So let's just go and click here to edit. So of course I'm just going to click here and type in there we go if I could spell. And there we go. Now if I click outside the box it puts that text right there where I want it. You can see if I click on the box as well, it'll bring up a toolbar where I can change and make it bold or uh, change the size of the font or put it in the middle, you know, whatever justification you'd want. You can also link that as well. Um, so that's uh, kind of how you put on text. Let's put on a picture. So I go up to the picture element, I take it and I drag it down. I could put the picture above the text or I could put it below just wherever I want to. For right now I'm just going to put it below the text and you see that it opened up a box that says click here to edit. Okay, so if I want to put in a picture I'm just going to click right there. Now you can upload one from your computer or if you have a uh, URL from uh, say Google Images or something like that you could post that in there. I'm just going to find one on my computer so I'm just going to click here. Um, sticking with our plant theme let's just go with this cotton and you'll see it'll upload and there's my picture. Now if I click on the square here in the corner of the picture I can change the size, I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller. Okay. Um, also if uh, it'll bring up a toolbar at the very top if I want to move it you know on left justification or keep it in the center. I'm gonna move it to the left and if I click outside the box, it's just going to put that picture right there. Okay. Now, let's put in a YouTube video. Um, there's a couple of different options. Before I go into that, there's a couple of different options here on this basic tab. Uh, if you look up here, there's some options like if I want to have a paragraph with a title or um, if I just want to have a plain paragraph or if I want to split this uh, page up into two columns, I, could, I, I have that option as well but I'm going to put in a video, a YouTube video, so if I go up to this tab that says multimedia and click on it, um, you can see that we have some different options here. I could put a Word document if I drag this file or a PowerPoint or something like that. I could make a photo gallery or a slideshow, just kind of whatever you want. If you have the embed code for a flash game, you can drag that down. But I, I really wanted to show you the YouTube video, so we're just going to take that uh, element and we're just going to drag it down. And I'm going to set it below the picture here. Now, um, sticking with our plant theme here, I have found a video, a YouTube video that I like. It's a uh, time lapse of radish seed sprouting. It's pretty neat. But if I want to use this on my website, all I have to do is highlight the URL right up here at the top, copy it, okay, and go back to my website editor 
you can see that if I click inside somewhere inside this uh, box with the uh, YouTube video it'll pull up a toolbar right here and all I have to do is paste in the URL that I got what I'm pasting in here is what I got from up here I paste in that and you can see that it pulls up that YouTube video uh, and loads it now if I were to click play here it would play the video and if I click outside of the uh, YouTube box right here it'll set that YouTube video down and um, you know this is what my page is going to look like there's a couple other options that you can do uh, and place on your page um, for example if you're selling something you can have you know your uh, your Google AdSense and uh, display your products or whatever you want to do um, you can also have a live RSS feed um, or an online poll or something like that one of the biggest things uh, you know you can have a survey or a contact form um, let me try to find assignment form if you're a teacher this assignment form is is really really neat if you drag it down um, and set it down you can actually have uh, students drop off their papers and uh, whenever they put it into the uh, the assignment form then they can drop they can load their uh, word documents or powerpoints or whatever and they'll be emailed directly to you so kind of a neat little option there but we just have some uh, different things let me show you one more thing if I want to change the design of this page say I don't really care for these uh, these colors or the scheme or something like that all I have to do is come up here to the design tab up here at the top and uh, I can pick out some different looking designs if you're an educator you know something like that or if you like clouds there you go if you um, want to have something kind of professional looking well that'd be another edu educator page but you get the point I'm gonna scroll back over to my original one because I'm sticking with plants today okay very neat. Now the last thing that I've got to tell you before you finish, uh, you, have to, you have to publish this to the web. If you don't publish this to the web, you're going to lose everything that you did. All your pictures are going to go away, your text is going to go away, and you're going to be sad. So before we want to navigate off this page, make sure and press publish. And it's going to tell me that it's publishing to practice Weebly 1 dot weebly.com it's right here okay and I don't want to share to Facebook or Twitter right now so I'm just gonna click off that but it says we're published so if I come up to a tab up here and I type in practice weebly one dot we oops we dot com uh, I type that in and I press go. It's going to take me to my website. Hopefully, cross your fingers. It's going to take me to my website that I just built, and there you have it. You have your own web page, and you can, you know, write a blog or uh, communicate with your students or parents that way. And you can see my YouTube video works. Very cool got all my pictures got everything here um, and it looks great and I hope this uh, this tutorial helped you out a little bit I'm going to be releasing uh, some more advanced things to do with Weebly and um, hopefully keep your eyes open for that if you need any more information please visit uh, www.k20center.ou.edu for more information thanks a lot